I have been covering Olama for quite some time now. This is probably the most easiest and fastest tool to run large language models locally. In this video, I am going to show you how you can do local retrieval augmented generation by using Olama and you can use any model for that purpose. I'll be using Phi3 for this purpose in order to talk to multiple PDFs, which is basically the RAG. RAG simply enables you to provide more context to your large language models. So what happens is that we take our own documents, our own data, we chunk them, we convert them to numerical representation, we store them in a vector database. And then whenever someone asks a query from LLM, we augment that query with the data from the vector store or the um, embedding database which is semantically similar that provides further context to the large language model and that is what we are going to do i'll be using a simple pdf file where i have my own data um, just describing myself and then we will see how that works with olama so let's get started let me take you to my local system i am using ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu of 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. You can even run this with a good CPU and maybe 16 GB of memory. So you don't need very, very powerful system in order to run this. Let me clear the screen. I already have Olama running. If you don't know how to do it, I have various videos where I show you. Olama list shows you which models are already there. So I already have Llama 3 latest. If you don't have it, simply run or llama run and llama 3 and that is going to download install and run llama 3 on your system i'm not going to do it as it is as it is already there okay so let me clear the screen next step you need to have is that you should have docker installed i already have it so let me quickly show you so this is my docker version and you also should have docker compose installed so I also have Docker Compose installed. If you don't know how to do it again, please search the channel. I have uh, described it in great detail. Very simple, by the way, on Ubuntu. Let me clear the screen. Now let's git clone this repo, which I just showed you of the tool, which we are going to use. That is an open source tool. So really kudos to the person who created it. And I will drop the link to that repo in video's description. So let's clone that repo, which is called as Rag Chatbot let's cd to that rag chatbot let's do ls dash ltr to see what exactly there is you see there is a docker file and view of the scripts and stuff let me clear the screen so now next step which we need to do is simply this docker compose up dash dash build and it is going to start everything on your local system so let's me do it it is going to download these layers and all that stuff Roma DB is a vector database which I was referring to where it stores all the vectors or numerical representation. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long, but it is quite lightweight, just like Olama. It is just starting up different layers, so installing different stuff. Let's wait for it to finish. It took around four minutes and everything is running now in terms of that docker compose which includes chroma db which is our vector store and also all the docker containers let's go to so let it run because it is just running it in the background now so let it run let's go to another terminal of the same server let's cd to that uh, rack chat, uh, chatbot and then simply run this script to install this rack chatbot it is going to install all the dependencies. So let's wait for this one to finish. Everything is installed. You can ignore these warnings for now. And installation is done. Now in order to run it, all you need to do is to again, just execute this run.hsh script. It is running now. It will take bit of a time. So let's wait. Okay, so we need to give the permission. So let's give it the executable permission on this script and let's run it again. So after changing the permission, 
now it has started running which is great it's downloading the model i think that port is already in use so you would need to access this link on this port 7861 so let me open this uh, in my browser and show you and this is what it looks like in the browser so you have now fully rag enabled chatbot running locally on llama 3 5 3 or whatever uh, model you want to use and the chatbot is very simple you can either use chat mode or you can use compact mode you can set any model by selecting from here i would just you see that it is showing me llama 3 so for example i have selected the llama 3 you can also pull the model if you like just click on the pulling the model and you see it is pulling the model from uh, olama now so it takes a bit of a time and then here you can add your document let's wait for it to download the whole model it will take too long now and you will get this message that model llama 38 billion is ready at the top and then you can add your um, files here so let me add grab one file from my local system i have just uploaded my own file which is so you see it is chunking it indexing it and processing it let's wait for it to finish and then you can chat with this file by using this llama 3.8 billion model so for example if i ask it who is Fahad Mirza and press enter here it is going to process it and will return the response and there you see it has perfectly gone in and read my document and grabbed the answer from there now interestingly enough if I take you to its terminal you will see that first it has searched the Lama 3's own repository and Lama 3 has told it different because if you go up it is saying some Fahad Mirza Wikipedia, who is Fahad Mirza in cricket, age, family, it couldn't find anything. Then it searched my whole document and the context is here. And from the context, it was able to pull out that information. And then this is what you see in this browser. So this is how easy it is to do RAG from uh, your own document by using Olama locally. And you see that I'm using Llama 3, but you can select any model from um, Olama, which includes Pi 3, which includes Gemma, Mistral, and a lot of other models. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Really great effort by this person. I will drop the link to his tool in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.